And welcome back once again to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's another fifth episode, so I'm joined once again by another guest commentator. So say hello, Super Paper Squirps. Hey. <laughs> You're there. Yes. Now in this. Is starting up. Yeah. Now in this Are you episode. Doing yeah, I do a backflips on the helm. That's how I roll. Now in this episode, I'm taking care of a lot of prankster comment challenges that have begun to appear. Because I started appearing around uh, the beginning of World 3, so that's where I am at this point. But I want to take care of all these prank newly appearing prankster comments before I move forward. I really hated the prankster comments when I played this game the first time. Yeah, the first time it's very difficult. Yeah, but you get used to it after playing the first game and doing 100% with Luigi and Mario. You get used to it. That is true. This is still my favorite 3D Mario game, and I find the prankster comments to be such a fun challenge now. I just love them. Yeah. Now, your username would imply that you're kind of a fan of the Squirps character of Super Paper Mario. So what's the history behind that? Yeah, well, uh, it's a really long story, but what happened is, when I first started out YouTube, I was thinking of a username because a bunch of my friends, I kind of got started on YouTube through my friends because they had first showed me what Let's Playing was. I didn't really know what Let's Playing was until then. But once I finally did get started in Let's Playing, uh, I was playing Super Paper Mario at that time, and the first time I'd ever seen Squirps, I'm like, that's such a cool character. <laughs> and when I searched, just first decided what name I should do, it ended up being Squirps, because I just couldn't think of anything else. I was on the brink of destru destruction with my mind, and I'm just like, alright, I'm going with Super Paper Squirps, we're good with that, let's go. Works for me. He likes chocolate. Uh, he's, yeah, well. a, he's a gourmet at heart, I believe. Whenever I played this game the first time, I really wondered if he was like a baby or what he ended up being. Because Pee Wee Piranha here just looks so different. It's so weird. Yeah, it's just a baby piranha or something. What I still don't get is why does his butt look like a boob? <laughs> it has a little zit on it, I think. That's one very circular zit to be a zit. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what they were going for. I don't know if that's something sexual or something comical. I don't know. What What's, what's this your direction? Is Nintendo. They brought us the uh, Lodi Toadster, or whatever it was, Tony Bloister from Pikmin 2. Yeah, okay, that's true. Now I I thought it would be fitting for you to commentate here on episode 15, since uh, H Black actually commentated with me on episode 10, and I know you two were doing a, a versus of this game, but it's been a long time since an episode has been uploaded. Yeah, actually, people might be happy if they're subscribed to either me or Sam, hearing that we're going to probably be able to record today. I actually have to send him a text right now, saying that we're going to record probably right after this, or within the near future of today. I thought so, he was on vacation. Uh, I don't know if he went on vacation yet. I think it's this weekend that he goes on vacation. I thought he, I thought it was uh, last weekend, because when I commented with him, he said he was leaving in two days to go to Hawaii. <laughs> Already? Oh boy, then. Yeah. So he may be right. he may be gone. Just so you know, well, he'll be back. Yeah. He'll be back by the time this is uploaded, though, because this won't be uploaded for another uh, two or three weeks, I believe. Since I'm, oh, wow. Well, I'm uploading an episode every other day, so that just gives you an idea. Like I just ah, I, see. I just uploaded episode six, so <laughs> it'll still be a while. Yeah, but whatever. What would you say your favorite Mario game is? Oh, God. <laughs> That's a tough question, I gotta say. I would say Sunshine, Super Mario Sunshine. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know why, but that's kind of the game that I grew up through my childhood. I had a lot of good memories through that. Yeah, I think it has a lot of nostalgia factor, I guess, for you. Now, out of, out of the 3D Mario games, that one's honestly my least favorite, but I st I do really like it, don't get me wrong. It's a great game, yeah. but I I don't like it well enough to want to make a let's play of it, so I have no desire to do that. But every now and then I'll go back to it and play some stages, because it does have a lot of really fun platforming sections. Yeah, that's what they based out of a couple of the stages on Galaxy 2. I know, I know the Special World stages actually had some from Sunshine in it. Yeah, I know at least one did. I forgot the name of it, but yeah, you're right. It had that uh, platforming section from... Uh, it was the spinning block one from Rico Harbor and most of the secret areas. Was it Rico Harbor or that beach uh, stage? It was, 
It was Rico Harbor because I remember the spinning ones. You had to get up to the top and then up to the top of the lighthouse or lighthouse or whatever it is. Okay, yeah. And then you got into there and it's... took you into the special stage thing. Yep, yeah, I've played through Mr. Round before, but it's been actually a really long time since I've gone all the way through Sunshine. It's been quite a while. I can't even remember the last time. Trust me, 100%ing 100, 100 that game was so difficult. It is, I it is spent, difficult, yeah. I spent, like, unbearably long amount of time trying to get all those blue coins. Oh, those stupid blue coins. I feel your pain. But not only that, uh, just getting 100 coins in each level, because there are some Shine Sprite missions where you can't. it's impossible to get 100 coins, and you don't know which ones. Yeah, well, I kind of had to look up online which ones exactly were... The uh, yeah, ones I, that I had to code to be able to figure it out. I think I had, just... I think I had to do the same <laughs> after some frustration. Yeah, extremely frustrating. It can be. Although this game can be frustrating too, but I don't find it extremely tedious. It just has that perfect balance of challenge but not tedious. Because I know in Sunshine it would be really, really tedious when a blue coin would disappear and you couldn't get it back and to start over again. You know. Yeah. And getting a hundred coins was just mm -hmm. a nightmare anyway. So. Yeah. This galaxy you're actually heading into right now is one of my favorite from this game. Oh yeah, I love this one so much, especially the purple coin challenge I'm about to do. It's a lot of fun. See, I grew up, I, I like to think I'm pretty good at Mario games because I've been playing Mario games since I was about two. Yeah. Doing it for a long time now. Do you remember the first Mario game you played? Hmm. It would probably be Sunshine. That's the. That's why I say there are so many memories. Yeah, that it. makes sense. I, I think the first Mario game I ever played was, uh, to my memory, was actually Doki Doki Panic or Super Mario Bros. 2. <laughs> I think I played that. That's, that's what my memory is telling me when I was about two years old. I think I was at a relative's house or something, and they were like aunt, uncle, cousin's house, and. Um, I was jumping around as Princess Peach, just failing and dying, and they were all, they were all laughing at me or something. It was just like a very terrible first memory for a video game. It's either, yeah, that game you're talking about is one of the first ones I played too, or, uh, because I remember I actually have some really good memories of that game too, and I remember when I was like in a daycare when I was a kid, I used to play that a lot with my friends so you could beat it first. But I remember I had so much trouble with that game because it was like impossible. <laughs> it was so difficult. I spent so much time, and then when you die, you have to start all over again. Yeah, that always sucks. But uh, I already, I think that was the second Let's Play I ever did. I did, I did all the classic Mario games. I start with Mario One, then I moved on to Mario Two. So I already LP'd that game. But um, I'm tempted to go back and redo uh, the my first four LPs, which were Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 2, Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario World, because my commentary skills have gotten better, and my quality has improved, too, so I feel like I can give those games better justice, but I haven't... Yeah, don't, I, you, don't you just want to go back to those old games that you love to let's play? Exactly. They were super fun. Yeah, I know, but... Because I can't do them better justice now, because I just feel bad, because I, I'm ashamed of those first four LPs, because my commentary was just so... Boring, and my humor was really stupid, and I don't even know what I was thinking. Yeah, I kind of feel that way about Sunshine to me, because that was one of, like, my fourth LP or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do much justice to that game, I only talked for a little bit of it, and it was kind of crappy. But if I were, I was ever, eh, if I were ever to go back and do that, it would probably end up that I would never do the blue coins again, because I'm not going to spend my life trying to go and find those again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so glad there's no blue coins in the Mario Galaxy games. Yeah. Or even... The only thing... Go ahead. I was going to say, you also don't have to get 100 regular coins for a star. I mean, sometimes yeah. you have to come across purple coins, but that's no big deal. They're scripted there for you. Yeah. That's all I was going to say. So, oh, Tall Trunk's one of my favorite galaxies. This is the one that I look forward to when I first went through... Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah, I remember you. I, I remember finding the, out about it. I remember in the race. I remember watching you slide down this tall trunk. Oh yeah, I had a really, a really so much fun time trying to go and get all the purple coins. I think I was on tall trunk. The yeah. slide. That's what I'm about to do now. 
Like, I got so nervous, because one of the first time I played this game, I died a, pr a good bit trying to get these purple coins, because I wasn't really used to the slide mechanics just yet in this game. Aha! Uh -huh. I remember now why I got so mad at this. If you remember in the Versus, what happened is I got 99 out of the 100 coins when I finished. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> That's, That's going to be one of the top 25 moments, I already know that. Oh, I, I think I talked to Ouija and sucker him into uh, playing this for me. He's like, <laughs> sucker, you can do the hard part. Yeah. Let, let Mario kick back and relax and still take all the credit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Ouija time. What's funny is, uh, in Luigi's Mansion, have you noticed that Luigi doesn't seem as much like himself? Oh, uh, It's like in these later games, how they portrayed him. I thought they portrayed him about the same now. He's sort of like, get the you know, sort of. Yeah, he's of got thing. a much more annoying voice. <laughs> but uh, I know in Luigi's Mansion, he, d he does a lot of uh, table and bookcase humping. When you press, yeah, when you press A, he just, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> I just like making him do that. I might LP Luigi's Mansion sometime. It's, it's not on my immediate radar, but it's a game I can see myself going through. Yeah, well, the one pro problem about that game that I had so much trouble with was, um, actually I didn't have much trouble as I thought I would, but when the blackout happens, you have to get all the rich ghosts and gold mouth ghosts that are there. So, that took me probably one try before I got all of them perfectly in a row, because you can't save right after you get one. So if you mess up, you mess up. Yeah. It's, it's been, like I said, it's been, just like with Sunshine, it's been a long time since I've gone through Luigi's Mansion as well. I took damage there, and so, whoops. Oh well. Yeah, you did better than I did on my first time. Like, at least I passed. I don't care if yeah. I get hit a million times. As long as I get the star, I'm good. It's like, that's not the most graceful of slides, but I survived. Yeah. I know there's the uh, the blueberry fruit appears for the first time in Tall Trunk Galaxy, and it makes me think of uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory when, uh, oh, when yeah. Violet eats the... Uh, yeah, and then gets all bloated and like Yeah, huge. the same thing happens to Yoshi. So I'm thinking, man, that fruit is straight out of Willy Wonka's factory or something. But yeah. Yoshi doesn't even get a Noopa Loompa song. That's true. <laughs> Although that'd be pretty funny. Yeah. I think I stop here. I'm not going to play the Hytale Falls Galaxy because I think it's gone on long enough. I'm trying to keep these videos under 15 minutes. So yeah, they don't that's good. So they don't take forever to upload, but also they... Um, they can attract more attention spans, because who's going to watch a 20-minute video on YouTube anyway? Yeah, well, some people will, but whatever. That's hard for me to do sometimes, but yeah, that does it for now. So thank you very much, Super Pepper Squirts, for commentating with me. So say bye. Bye!